Hello, Leo. Welcome to your bonus reading here on Dove and Serpent Tarot. If you're watching this, this reading was meant to find you. Please hit the like button, leave a comment. Consider subscribing to the channel, especially if this reading resonates with you. Now, this is a general reading, so try to be open and receptive to whatever may come through during our time together. I am merely the messenger. And I ask you to connect directly with each of these cards and use your own intuition to take you beyond the details that I provide. And remember, Leo, that the most important part of any tarot reading is you. We've got the world card, the universe card. Uh, no limits, no boundaries, right? This is a world that is expansive. This is a universe that is infinite. Okay, this is a card right now that's kind of saying like, you could do anything you want. Like there's no limit to what you're going to accomplish now. It's um, the world is your oyster. Yeah, this is the theater in which we perform our art and perfect our lives, right? This is everything. This is everything that, that was, that is, that will be. It's everything that could possibly be totally infinite. Sometimes with this card, there's a little bit of, um, I don't know, a little bit of fear even that comes with it, right? Because when the universe expands so infinitely, it feels like the distance between stars is growing greater and greater and greater, right? So it creates a sense of loneliness. Um, and so one of the shadow sides of this card, every card has light and shadow, right? One of the shadow sides of this card is a feeling of isolation or loneliness, right? Even in this great field of possibilities, we need to find connections, right? Um, we need to uh, recognize that life and consciousness is everywhere. Yeah. This is also a card that's telling me that your success has been a long time in the making, okay? Because the universe card is sometimes talking about this is it. This is the big uh, culmination, <clears throat> the big climax of everything that you've been working toward. Yeah. Um, let's put this card into some context, okay? Let's put some other cards around it and see what kind of insight we get. Oh, there is the, oh yes, the princess of pentacles. The princess of pentacles is another Basically, these are very similar cards. Because just as the universe contains everything, right? The Princess of Pentacles contains all the other tarot cards. They're all underneath the surface. This is, um, this is the last couple days of winter. Just before spring arrives and all the flowers break forth, all the plants, all the animals come back. All the life returns, all the verdant energy um, inhabits this currently dark, sterile, barren, empty, cold, right, landscape. So we kind of have above and below. We have sort of a macrocosm, microcosm thing going on. But what I feel that these cards really are talking about is that it really is your time to, um, sort of to, to recognize your potential, to manifest your potential. Because that's what the Princess of Pentacles is. There's a lot going on under the surface. Just by looking at it, there's nothing green here. There's no life here. But this is life that is ready to break forth. Right? And these two cards, it's, it's really saying that you're, the greatest moment of your life is now, is here. Okay? That it's been building up and building up and building up. It's time for it to break forth. Okay. So, um, Princess of Pentacles, it's time to unleash your true self. It's time to, um, to realize, actualize, and materialize your potential. Yeah. What I want to do for you is an angel number card before we get into too many details. your 
angel number is 0330, the lucky shirt, love, peace, hope, and optimism. Transferring responsibility to others, that's interesting. Progress and creativity. Pursue your goals and get what you want. It will provide wonderful benefits for you and the people you hold dear. Your ability to communicate is improving at this time, which makes it easier for you to interact with a broad spectrum of individuals. And that, I think, is um, it's sort of a, um, a bit of a salve for that loneliness, right? Your communication, being able to express yourself and to uh, communicate your wants and your needs, yeah? So I think that the communication is a big part of this, but the lucky shirt, I like that because it's just um, put on your lucky shirt today, right? Because it's that it's your time. This is going to be that moment where all of that uh, light, love, consciousness, all of this verdant energy breaks forth from under the surface of this. This is something that's still pregnant with potential just about to break forth. Yeah. So let's put our other cards out on the table here and see how this might be coming about or what led you here. There's a Knight of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles. There's the star. Yes, of course, you're, you're being guided by your star, right? And we have a Princess of Swords, which it, that's a very good card here going into the future because even with this wonderful success and this um, the realization of your potential, right, and this greatest moment of our lives, we realize that tomorrow we're going to have to keep learning and growing and working and doing and being part of it. Yeah. So we have to, um, this, I, this I think is very, this is essential. This is communication too. This is the princess of swords, right? It's all about communication. And this is going to be right in the middle of our conversation today. But if there's anything you would like me to pray over or meditate upon or send positive energy toward, please let me know. All right, let's finish up with the path of the serpent here. Ten of pentacles, the wealth, right? The richness of life. The eight of swords in the environment. Yeah, that's what it's all about, the communication. We need to really be able to um, express ourselves, to communicate what we need and what we want from the people around us. Your relationships in your life. We don't want cold and lonely, right? So we need to continue to work on um, building up relationships with others. There is the chariot card in the position of sort of the obstacle, right? And our final card another air energy and this is um the knight of swords it really is looking at the future and um and understanding that the future now from this moment forward it all depends on how you're going to connect with people and communicate and maintain relationships it's all about the interpersonal stuff right um because this is the greatest moment of your life it's here it's now Right? This is the moment where everything um, sort of comes to a head and you have this breakthrough success. With that comes the risk of isolation, comes the risk of that distance growing between you and your people, you and your loved ones, you and yourself, you and the world. Right? We feel more and more detached from things. So the air energy that we see is very much about um, strengthening those attachments to your loved ones, right? your pets, your plants. Um, this is very, very good. Let's select our mystery card, bonus card, confirmation card. This is a random card from the Smith Weight Tarot. This is the factor infinite and unknown. And we're going to set it down right here. And we're going to put Mr. Ed, our tiny horse, right on top. We're not looking at that card till the end. All right. Um, it'll tie everything together, I'm sure. If you have a prediction for it, please put it in the comments down below. Let's exercise our intuition. Yeah. Looking at the room, interesting things here. Um, we've got the universe. We've got the chariot. And we've got the star. Now, the universe, of course, is the, the universe in which we live, let's say. Right? The field of experience. You're following your destiny. You're doing, you're fulfilling your potential. You know who you are. You know why you're here. There is a guiding light in your life, right? And 
this is sort of like your rocket ship or your boat. I mean, pick your pick your metaphor here. Um, the thing about the chariot card and the reason why it's in the position of the obstacle or of the energy that you don't want is because the the chariot is very fortified, very protective. You got your heat shield around. You got your force field. Um, you um, the charioteer you see is fully armored, right? not letting anybody really see them or experience them or get to know them, not letting anybody in, okay? And this is sort of the energy that you maybe need if you're traveling through time and space. You might need a very well-fortified, you know, chariot, and you might need to armor yourself against, you know, the sort of harmful energy that could come in. But I think we realize... Um, that sometimes we need to take this armor off or take some of it off, or at least you know, lift the, the visor so that people can see you and get to know you and connect with you. Because another thing I'm noticing in this reading here today is that there are no water cards. The chariot is the closest thing we have to water. This is, of course, the cancer energy it's a watery energy. But um, otherwise, we've got fire. We've got our air, yeah. We've got our earth, earth, and earth. So we've got three majors. We've got three air. We've got three earth. We've got a little bit of fire and a little bit of water. Okay. And um, I think the absence of water... You're somebody that that needs to find enjoyment in what you're doing. This breakthrough success, this is really, this is the greatest moment of your life. And spirit wants you to enjoy it. You know, spirit wants you to, uh, and that's the obstacle here, to, um, to express yourself, to find a way to communicate your wants and needs to other people, to sort of reach out to people and um, pull people in and let them see you and let them be with you to celebrate this really important moment in your life, okay? Um, it's like you're having this greatest moment of your life and who's here to share it with you, okay? And we need to reach out to whoever is, is there, right? Family, friends, loved ones. Um, we've got to be able to make connections. And now the center of the tarot table today, the axis mundi of the reading, the pole star here, is the princess of swords. It's your sort of, um, it, it's your hesitation to put yourself out there and to start conversations with people, to um, express yourself in this way, right? Um, but you're trying, you're doing it, okay? And we're realizing that if we want to have that full life, if we, if we want to let the water energy in, we've got to start um, speaking up about it. We've got to start making it known. And maybe this is really um, the, the greatest moment of your life is here, yes. What about tomorrow? Right? Tomorrow we've got to start um, formulating a new plan. And maybe, maybe your plan up till now was to have this very successful um, moment, whether it's career or school or you know, something like this. But tomorrow... The next thing that's coming, right, needs to be, I think, geared toward that water energy, that love, that sense of connection and community, right, community. And what is community but communication and unity, okay? So communication is the big, the big name of the game here. And of course, unity is something that we want to find out in the vastness of space. If your world is getting infinitely larger because of your success, because of this path that you had been on, well, I want the next path to be an ace of cups, right? Um, your ability to communicate is improving, which will make it easier for you to interact with a broad spectrum of individuals. See, the first thing with the lucky shirt, the first word, the first key word here is love. Right. You pursue your goals, you get what you want. It provides wonderful benefits for you and the people you hold dear. 
Well, we've got to be able to share this with the people we hold dear. We've got to reach out to those people. Okay. The fire energy underneath. Um, this is Spirit's way of um, showing you kind of the the, um, the the power that you have in you. It's showing you the way in which you can get fired up about things. You know, when you really are feeling it, there is this sort of infinite enthusiasm and motivation. Yeah, you're sort of motivating yourself. But what it feels like to me is the starlight, as it shines down on you, on your, you know, your soul, your being, I think it fills you with this intense passion and it fills you with this enthusiasm. I and mean, that's what enthusiasm is, right? It's being filled with uh, the Holy Spirit, let's say. And that's the divine light of that star card. So when you're on your path, when you're feeling your destiny, it motivates you. You wake up every morning and you can feel alive and ready to face the day. You can feel that there are no challenges at all, right? And this, of course, is, um, this is how you've created the success here. This is the vertical axis on the path of the dove. It's showing the starlight plus this, you know, arousal, this awakening of your creative fiery energy is leading toward your, the best moment of your life, this verdant energy breaking forth. Mystery card, maybe, um, maybe Empress, maybe Ace of Cups. Okay, that's my, so far that's my, my prediction, but we'll see. So going vertically here, this is tremendous success. Everything, your potential is being fulfilled, but there's another area of your life where it doesn't feel quite as full right now. Okay? So it's kind of like you're achieving all of this wonderful career success, but what about your, you know, what about your real life, your personal life? Okay? Um, this could be, you know, you're on, you're, you're, you're doing your will. You're following your destiny. You're achieving those greatest moments, right? The most success you've ever achieved. But there's this other part of your life that's sort of crisscrossing your, uh, I don't know if it's career, school, or you know whatever the, the vertical path is. The other path that's sort of crisscrossing it maybe needs a little bit of attention now. Okay. And in order for you to have truly the best, greatest moment of your life, we've got to have both, um, both paths come to fulfillment, come to fruition. And in this sense, I feel that um, it's sort of, a, it's a feeling of, um, of isolation, really, is what I'm getting. Okay. And I don't know that it's, it's really about your career and your personal life that are intersecting. It could be, you know, your school life and your love life. It could be, you know, your creative life and your spiritual life or your family life, right? Um, but I see that there are these two kind of, these two paths that are intersecting. And where they intersect is where you really achieve this greatest moment. This, this I mean, uh, this zenith of your life, yeah. Um, because one path without the other seems incomplete. And just as the example, your career, best, most money you've ever made, the most success, you're just, you're really in the zone there, right? But perhaps creatively, you're not feeling so fulfilled, or spiritually, you feel like there needs something more there, right? We need something new to grow. Um, we want to feel the same kind of, I mean, this is that passion, this is that enthusiasm, right? And we're doing it. Um, how can we take that also in this direction? Now we've got a Ace of Pentacles over here. Um, this is, uh, well, the Ace is the beginning of something, right? And you're sort of going from the Ace all the way to the Princess of Pentacles, and she, she's holding that Ace, right? She's ready for this Ace to really, you know, now it's like, you planted the seed, it's time for that, it's time to now to, to harvest the fruit, to reap the rewards of that seed that you planted. Okay. And um, that seed, I think, took place 
quite a long time ago, you know, and relatively speaking, maybe a year, a few years, could be way back in your childhood, where you, um, you kind of set out on a particular path. And you said, I'm doing this. And as long as I see that guiding light in my life, that divine light, as long as I'm, I continue to receive the signs from spirit that I'm on the right path, I have this fiery enthusiasm. I'm going to keep going full speed ahead. I'm not, I'm not doubting myself. You're not, um, you know, you didn't, um, when you got knocked down, you didn't stay down. And I'm sure you got knocked down. Okay. Um, I'm sure there have been moments of failure. But failure will not overtake you if your determination to succeed is stronger. And it is. And so this seed that you planted, whatever this was, Maybe this was the day you started your university career or the day you started out on this particular uh, career path or this creative path. Maybe you're an artist, maybe you're a business person, whatever it might be. It's now, it's now coming to fulfillment. Okay. And uh, the star card, of course, shows a lot of the karmic work that you've done as well. The star is your destiny. The star is that sign from above that uh, you're the chosen one, that you're, you are, um, you know, uh, you are destined for this success. Now, I can't help but feel that there's, we need a little bit of icing on the cake, you know. So I think the star is showing you that your work isn't over yet. It's kind of like you, you got to the end of it and uh, you think this is it and you're kind of, you're waiting, but like the starlight's still shining forward, and you're thinking, well, wait, no, I got to the end, you know. Why is there still, um, why is there still more path? It's like you get to the end of a level on a video game, but it's just like, it's not ending. I cr keep crossing the finish line. Why is it not, you know, why is nothing happening? I think Spirit's telling you that there's still more to push forward into. There's still this... Um, I think we, the love energy, I think we need that water energy here. Otherwise, this is imbalanced, right? So the star card is up here at the top showing that you, you're someone with faith, that you're a person who trusts the divine energy, trusts the divine light, even though now we've got this eight of swords in the environment, right? And in the environment, it's kind of showing that I don't understand why I'm here. This is the greatest moment of my life. But Spirit's telling me that there's still something else going on. And I'm, you know, I think you're feeling that there's something else needed here. And you're trusting in the signs from Spirit. You're, you're trusting um, what Spirit is showing you. And Spirit is illuminating the Princess of Swords. That you've got to discover what you're missing in life. Now, you're somebody that I think really, you take, you take synchronicity very seriously, okay? I think that you're somebody with an intense spiritual practice, a strong connection with that divine energy, okay? And I think when spirit kind of, when spirit tells you to do something, you know, the knight of wands here, you do it. You don't question it. You go full force into it. And it is paying off big time. Greatest moment of your life is here. Okay. Um, but moving into this Princess of Swords, you still have questions. There's still something that you're trying to figure out. There's still a little bit of, I don't want to call it confusion, but there's still a little bit of... Um, there's still a little bit of rumination on, um, you know, this is the greatest moment of my life. And I think it is. I think that your entire life has led up to this point. But see, I think I misspoke when I said it was the zenith. Because the zenith is the highest point, and then it declines, right? Um, I don't think that's it. I think this is, the, this is the greatest moment that has ever been for you. It can still go higher. It can still get better, right? And I think what we need now is... Um, to bring in that water energy, that joy, that satisfaction. It's almost as if um, you're kind of, you're, you're trying to figure out what is spirit trying to tell me? What am I supposed to do? What is the next step supposed to be? 
But I feel like it's very simple. I feel like you're overthinking it. I don't know that it is a next step, so to speak, but I think Spirit's trying to nudge you and kind of push you and say, okay, what now? What next? What are you missing? Right? What else? What else is here? Come on. You know, like trying to get you, like it's, it's an obvious answer. Let's, let's say it, you know? And I think it really is just that love. I think it really is just joy and satisfaction. I really wonder if you're achieving this greatest moment of your life, but you're kind of like, um, you're not feeling it so much because you're like, you're still in this mode of, of ambition. You're still in this mode of, um, I'm not done yet. I've got to keep going. I've got to push. I don't have time to celebrate. I've got work to do. Yeah. Um, it's like everybody's coming around you and clapping and cheering for you and there's champagne and there's streamers and it's a big party, right? And you're just like, what are you, what are you guys doing? Get away from me. I, I got to work. You know, I got important things to do and everyone's just kind of like clapping for you. That's what I'm seeing. Um, because you've made it, you've done it. So maybe this is the idea here. Let's put the tools down and stand up and realize that you've achieved something. Yeah. And allow yourself to feel this moment. It could be that our Princess of Swords is, is busy looking for, um, looking for that, that, um, the answer, looking for the thing that we didn't know, looking for what we have to figure out. Spirit's trying to tell me something. I got to find it. I got to look for it. We're overthinking, overthinking, overthinking. Spirit just kind of wants you to feel it, you know? Um, let's, let's talk about the path of the serpent now. The Ten of Pentacles, wealth, success fullness of life. I mean, you got everything you wanted, right? Um, you, you were gifted a really, or you've earned, or you've made a beautiful set of, um, of, uh, of dinnerware, right? Plates, as I was called, dinnerware, plates and things, right? All these wonderful vessels, beautiful, ornate, expensive, right? Really, really nice. Great accomplishment. You either earned them, you bought them, or you made them, or whatever. Now we've got to use, now we need to get people over to our house. We've got to cook some food, and we've got to eat off these wonderful plates. Otherwise, they're just pretty things to look at. There's no substance there. Okay. And that's kind of what we need, too. That's why there's a difference between the Ten of Pentacles and the Princess of Pentacles. Because the Ten of Pentacles could be just empty vessels. You got an ace, you went all the way to the Ten, you achieved it. But what's inside of this? What does it mean to you? What is its significance, right? Um, what does it do for you inside? It's like somebody that is so successful in business and they've achieved all of this wealth and their business is booming and they're, so, they're just unbelievably successful. But when they're at home <clears throat> with their family or whatever, they're just not happy, right? All of this success, it's like there's something missing. I should be happy with all this success, right? Where's the water? And our princess of swords is starting to look around for, I must have done something wrong. Maybe I needed more. Right? Maybe I need to go back and, and redo something. Maybe Spirit's trying to tell me that um, I didn't achieve enough, or I didn't achieve it in the right way, or I didn't achieve it, um, you know, um, it wasn't big enough or, 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 you know, successful enough. And so we start looking around for answers, but I think those answers are in the wrong place. We need to use this air energy not for tearing apart what we've done and looking for what's missing, right? But by bringing things together, bringing that meaning and that satisfaction in, which I think is involving other people in your life, your friends, your family, your loved ones. Um, if you're amassing all this wealth, what good is it if you're not doing anything with it? If you're not using it to connect with people, or if you've, um, 
You've acquired all these beautiful dinner plates, right? You never have a, a, a meal. You never have a, um, a, a get-together with your loved ones to share a meal, okay? So sometimes our princess of swords could be looking in the wrong place. Yeah. And sometimes the Ten of Pentacles is, um, could feel a little empty. Okay. So we've got to work on that. We've got to stop overthinking what we've achieved. You, this, is the, this is the greatest moment of your life. Now act like it, right? Um, the greatest moment of your life. Now you've got to feel it. You've got to share it. You've got to do something with it. You've got to, um, to celebrate it. We need a little bit of water energy here. Yeah. Because the Eight of, the eight of Swords is maybe very, um, very busy trying to figure out what to do next or um, kind of what, it, it's almost like a self-criticism. It's a little bit like we're, we're trying to find the flaws in what we did because I'm not feeling happy about it. There must be something wrong with it. There must be something that I didn't do correctly. So we're gonna pick it apart. We're gonna overanalyze, you know, what we've done and, and try to find the, the bug, you know, try to find the flaw that we can fix. And so we look at it like it's a, um, like it's just an intellectual problem that needs an intellectual solution. Yeah. But this is going to just be a loop. This is going to continue to happen. The more success you achieve, um, the more we're going to feel kind of um, almost hamstringed by it. Right? Because we are going through this universe with this chariot energy. And the chariot is, of course, very loyal to the star, following the starlight, traveling this infinite universe. Okay, there's a certain kind of um, obedience there. There's a loyalty, there's a commitment. Following our starlight no matter what. Right? But we could either have an experience of the cold and lonely universe, or we could find ways to really bring life and joy and love to this. Like either way, you have this wonderful success that you're, you're achieving something very profound, monumental success in your life. The greatest moment of your life is here. Just enjoy it. Take some of this armor off, okay? And allow yourself to have that meal, to share that success with your friends, family, right? And now the final card being the Knight of Swords, it is a card of, that looks into the future. Okay, and I think it's, in this case, it's looking into the future, and what it's seeing is a Ten of Swords. Okay, a Ten of Swords is a card of ruin. So you're looking into your future, and you're thinking, um, you know, you're thinking, if I, if I keep on the road that I'm on, and I'm not allowing this water energy into my life, then what good is all of this success? What good is all of this triumph and all of this wealth, right? So we're, we're kind of seeing that um, the Ten of Pentacles really could be um, something that's not nourishing. This could be, if we let it, this could be empty, totally empty. We're not going to let that happen, are we? So we're improving our ability. We're learning how to communicate. We're learning, um, learning what we really want in life. What is going to make this cold, vast, empty universe really just sort of bubble over with life, you know? What is it that you really, truly need? You're prone to overthinking and analyzing your, your work, let's say. And you can extrapolate and you can see further down the road and you're saying, well, you know, something's got to change, right? So we're trying to really learn. You're trying to learn what it is you truly want what is going to make you all of this success really feel good okay and then we've got to start using that voice and and using that communication to um to ask for that to go after that once we acknowledge it then we can sort of reorient ourselves toward that and it'll be the icing on that cake you know um let's look at our mystery card I would love to see some water energy or, or an Empress card. If you have a prediction, put it in the comments down below. Let's see what we have. 
It's a page of wands. It's more fire. It's like you're sharpening your spear. You're getting ready for the next one. You're getting ready for the next, the next challenge that you're going to overcome. Okay. The next challenge that you're going to overcome. Um, I'm not satisfied with that. I'm going to do a couple more cards just from the Millennium Thoth Tarot. Um, because I, I kind of feel as if with the Eight of Swords, with this overthinking and this overanalyzing, it's kind of like, okay, well, I'm not quite satisfied yet. I don't feel the water energy. The love isn't here. The joy isn't here. Okay, well, I guess I just got to sharpen my spear and go out and, and accomplish even more. That seems like it's, it's our default solution. Yeah. Let's see, what is going to be our next card? There's the Empress. All right, first shot. That was easy enough, wasn't it, Leo? That was easy enough. Um, Empress, beautiful card, beautiful energy. And the Empress is that paradise. It is that, that big rock candy mountain. It's kind of like, um, put down your weapons, put down your tools, put down all your work, and look around, because you've made it. It's here, it's now. Your success is now. This greatest moment of your life is here. Put your tools and your weapons down and enjoy it. Enjoy it, right? Allow yourself to be comforted and healed by the success that you've created by this life, this world, this universe that you've created. This is your moment. Celebrate it. Celebrate it. Allow it to restore you. Allow it to heal you. And this is wonderful major arcana energies. You're being rewarded. These are your just rewards. You deserve this. Right? You have enthusiastically followed your star in your chariot through the universe. You've arrived at your paradise why are you going to then just, ref you're not here to just refuel the chariot and keep going, right? That's what the Page of Wands is doing. We're just refueling the chariot and we're going to just get back on the road. No, no, no. Spend some time here. Allow yourself to love and be loved. Okay. Beautiful energy. Very nice. So we're going to do an extended reading as well if you want to stick around. There's a link up top. There's a link down below. New readings for Leo Tuesday and Saturday. Be sure to watch both readings. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do. It is totally free. It doesn't cost anything. Leave a comment and let me know where in the world you're watching from. I want you to know that you're the most important part of Dove and Serpent Tarot. I thank you and I love you. And we're all in this together.